fired that shot? Wild Bill Hickok is a legend in his own lifetime. A reputation as a lawman and gunslinger puts a target on his back. But living under a constant threat has given him a hard edge. And a hair trigger. This is the beginning of the end for Hickok. He will never hold a position as a lawman again. He never forgives himself for the fatal mistake. Mike, I hold no intercourse with the world around. Everything looks dark about me. Hickok pays for his friend's funeral in Kansas City, and then loses himself within the saloons and gambling halls of the big cities. He wanders from town to town, hoping to distance himself from his memories and leave his past behind. Want to deal me in there, fella? See your money first. Show you my money. There's my money. I haven't seen the wife in four months. His guilty conscience won't allow him to forget or forgive himself for killing an innocent man. Wild Bill drifts across the West for a better part of a year. He's drunk most of the time and completely broke. Until his old friend Buffalo Bill Cody offers him a job. How you doing, Bill? Buffalo Bill Cody and Wild Bill Hickok had known one another for a long time. He knew about the Wild West and convinced Hickok that we had to share this with a new generation of people who didn't know the Wild West as they did. And Cody invites him to be a part of this Wild West show. Let's just get this over with. I feel ridiculous. OK, now easy now. Oh, get on the log. There you go, you can make it. Whoops. <laughs> He plays a parody of himself, far removed from the Western frontier. This will take just a moment. Look, my eyesight's bad enough as it is. Can you turn down the damn lights you got over there? Don't you see that light right there? That one. Ah! Ah! All right now. I'm sorry, ladies. The pressure of the spotlight proves too much, and he heads west again in search of redemption. In the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, where a new vein of gold has been found, Hickok joins thousands of fortune hunters, flooding the boom town of Deadwood. I don't think you could have found any place more vile than Deadwood, South Dakota. It just was a place that um, had no law. You had people stealing from one another. You had people jumping one another. There are people that are being killed in a very violent way. You had all of this going on, and in this scene, you find Wild Bill Hickok. Your call. The legendary town tamer falls back into his old habits drinking and gambling his time away. In. I think I'll raise. Call. I have a hunch that I'm in my final camp, and I'll never make it out of this gulch alive. Something tells me that my time is up, but where it's coming from, I do not know. Come in. Wild Bill Hickok and Jack McCall were gambling one night. 
He was a, a drifter, a ne'er-do-well, a loser. The guy's got a chip on his shoulder of some kind. How you feel, kid? All in. Good for my blood. Oh. What do you say, kid? McCall is just a punk looking for a way to start a fight with Wild Bill Hickok. And that's precisely what he does. August 1st, 1876. Wild Bill wins hand after hand against drifter Jack McCall. Get some rest, take it easy. Here, have some breakfast on me. McCall's offended that Hickok has given him money to go and get something to eat and to calm down, but McCall isn't having any of it. I guess he's out. <laughs> the next day, Wild Bill arrives late to the number 10 saloon, only to find his favorite seat facing the door is already taken. Great, please. Bill. Got some weight on here. Charlie, mind if I have that seat so I can see the door? I'm on a roll, Bill. All right, fellas, deal me in. old, Hickok is no longer a lawman. He's simply a drifter, a gambler, and an aging gunslinger with a violent history. And his past is closing in behind him. Paul is a drunk. He's somebody who's looking for a way of fast fame. McCall comes in and before Hickok knows it, takes his gun and shoots him in the back of the head. Hickok, face down, on the table, and is dead. Jack McCall is later convicted of murder and hangs for his crime. No motive is ever revealed. After Hickok dies with aces and eights in his hand, that hand becomes a powerful symbol in Western literature and film that writers and filmmakers use to signal that death is at hand. Unable to outrun his reputation, the gunslinger never gets the chance to face his killer. He's buried in Deadwood's original cemetery under the inscription, Wild Bill, killed by the assassin Jack McCall. The legend of Wild Bill Hickok is full of lies spread by the dime novels, newspapers, and magazines of the day. 
Today, that legend of an untamed, indiscriminating gunman persists. But the truth of Hickok's life is far less sensational. He's a man driven by justice, scarred by a mistake that haunts him as he searches for the redemption he will never find. Even in death, Wild Bill Hickok adds to his legend. With one last tale, this time a true one, to enhance his legacy of the real West. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.